Hey everybody, Colm here from Commerce Gurus. So we have a question here today from uh, Makona D or Maconad. Apologies on your, I'm not sure what your name is from your username. But um, the question is very simple. How do you add product categories to the drop down menus in Boulder? So at the moment, we can see uh, what Makona or Maxwell's Pharmacy is their sign rather. You can see the problem here straight away. So in the shop, you can see um, the drop down only has a number of categories and some simple product categories here. So the question is very simple how do you fill this up? Okay, so let's jump over to our Boulder development site. So you can see this is really what uh, Makona D is asking how do you fill out this menu like this? Okay, so why don't we just jump back in to Boulder? Where do you want to go? You want to go to appearance and menus. So it's all done from within menus. And what you'll find is quite often um, you may come in here and discover that you do not have the ability to add product categories to your menu. And the reason for that is quite simple it lives up here. So you want to hit screen options and you want to make sure this guy is selected. By default, it will not be selected because WooCommerce is not a standard plugin that's there installed by default in WordPress. So you're gonna to have to enable, if I remove that, close the screen options, you'll see my product categories aren't here anymore. I come back up, I have product categories. You'll see they now appear down here. And I can start to now add these to my menu. The other thing you'll want to do, of course, is if you want to use an actual mega drop down in this style where you have a number of columns with an image, what you'll want to do is you'll want to set up the menu the mega drop down. Now, I'm not going to cover all the steps in this video because we do have documentation explaining exactly how to set up the mega drop down. And I'm going to include a, a link uh, to that in the video. Um, suffice to say that. Um, in addition to all the steps that are outlined here, which can take some time just to set up the Mega Drop Down, if you import the demo data, you actually get a copy of, of our uh, Mega Menu setup with product categories set up in columns, like it appears in our demo demo uh, our demo site. So, if you haven't imported demo data, it's another good reason to do so. But just to show you, so let me just go down to Shop. Again, you'll see. For screen options, you need to enable CSS classes. And I'm pretty sure we need description as well. Let's have a look. Okay, so you can see here at the top level. So we're making shop. The parent element going to be the drop down. So the shop gets a CSS class of menu full width. Then each child item underneath that. For example, let's take, okay, in this case we've called it categories and we have a list of categories underneath. You can see the category itself doesn't link anywhere. We just put a hash symbol in. And then you can see underneath that we've actually got product categories, one after the other. And they're just nested as children of the categories link which are then nested children of the shop link. You can see for the image that we have here, you can see, again, it's a hash link. The text offers men's shirts, which is used for the responsive version of the menu. And then most importantly, the CSS class image item, and then a link, direct link to the image we want to use. So that's really it. Um, I hope that answers your question, Kona D. I'll drop you a line now once the video has been uploaded. Thank you.